Hi everybody, it's Brenda here. I'm at Macy's in Bridgewater. I've never been in this store before, but I thought since I'm down this way, I really wanted to check out and see what this department was like. The department is not as large as the Lehigh Valley Mall store, but it is more organized. So what I'm in the market for and have been having a hard time finding is boot cut jeans. Now, I am very short for boot cut jeans, although these are not too bad. These are 24s, they're Melissa McCarthy, and they are very inexpensive. I think they're probably close to $100 jeans, and I think they may be $20 or less today. I think I have another pair of shoes at her home that are a little larger. I'm going to see what the video looks like but they're not bad but they do not have a lot of stretch i mean they when you sit down there's some but it really feels like regular denim so i'm going to leave these on and try a couple shirts on this shirt here that i have is a styling co shirt i am not crazy about it but i threw it on as the first thing i grabbed so these pants they might be a thumbs up certainly not for a hundred dollars but on the clearance rack Yes, I may have to see about whether I need to hem them or not, judging by the shoes I have at home. Hold on. Hi guys, this is from the clearance rack. It is a Moto Zip Up sweatshirt jacket, which is probably really good for right now as it starts to get a little warmer. And here's another one of those. You like me coming and you like me going, but guess what, Mr. Rundle's at it again. Is it supposed to be like that? Didn't you say that, Mr. Rundle? I did. So, what do you think now, Mr. Rundle? Is it supposed to be like that? Uh, I think somebody messed up on the drawing board. I love this stuff. You know what, the last time you talked me out of buying it, I came back and bought that one. Now, I just don't know. I think this is kind of cute. This sweatshirt with a something little under it. I gotta think about it. Okay, so hold on. Well, somehow the video switched to my Torrid video after my Macy's, but I'm going to make the best of it. I loaded it with this silent video, and the silence just doesn't work for me. But what I have on here is the new kimono that they just came out with at Torrid. It is a cream color background with the lovely, lovely peach color roses on it. I absolutely love these kimonos. They're like four season where you can do almost anything with it. You can dress up a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. You can wear it on top of something very, very dressy. You can put it over a dress. I mean, you name it, you can do it with a kimono. And I wasn't going to let this one slip through my fingers. And I got it. So here's a floral t-shirt that I absolutely fell in love with. I am, I'll tell you something, I am just such a floral person. I don't know why, but I just am. I don't remember, I think during the 80s, florals were really big. I remember wearing prairie shirts. Remember that, any ladies? And here is a cardigan that's kind of like a shirt, but it's really a cardigan dressy. It's black chalice rayon material, and it was on the clearance rack. They had a special today on the clearance rack. You buy one and get two free. So this was the first thing that I picked out, and if you heard me earlier when there was still sound in the video, the moto jacket with the side zipper was also on the clearance rack. So Mr. Rundle, it was funny. He he had a had a time with that when we uh when he saw the back. He has he just doesn't think that the open backs work, but I think they're so cute cuz we're cute coming and we're cute going. But this black rayon cardigan, I think there again, it's kind of like the kimono in the fact that you could wear it all year round, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's one of those pieces that, you know, when I do my outfit of the day videos in the morning, you have a shirt and a pair of pants on, you throw this on with a, and put some jewelry on or a scarf and voila, you have a special outfit for the day. So I did get this cardigan. Here is a crochet type light and I'm going to say that it's an early spring sweater. It is a cream background with peach 
almost like um, tweed fabric. And then at the top, it's an open crochet. You can see my black tank through it. And the length of it is nice and long, and the sweater is light. And I think I left the store without that sweater because some things get busy and we forget. But now that I look on the video, I really, really think that it's cute. I don't think I'd wear the black uh, tank underneath. Okay, here's another floral v-neck t-shirt, and I ended up not getting this. I just did not think, when you looked at the other tee and this one, I didn't think that the print was as as good on me as the other floral tee, and I try to not purchase something that I don't like. You know, there's that thing inside of us that we just sometimes you think it fits, I'll buy it. I think that has to do with being a curvy person because for so many years, things didn't fit. We bought anything that fit. So it's really hard for me to adjust that. So here is something that I do love and I did get. It is a crepe, non-stretchy, kind of a baby doll type cardigan cover up you wear a blouse under it you can wear a tank under it in the summer you can wear a longer sleeve shirt you can do just about anything with it you it's like a kimono you can wear it over a dress you can wear it with jeans and a tee I think they are pieces that you can add to your wardrobe that can have so many uses just experiment and play with a little bit throw it over a tank maxi dress okay here is a short sleeve baby doll floral rayon spandex top and I just absolutely love this top. Now I have spent my life having problems with my arm except when I was in grade school and, and early high school but my adult life I have always dealt with a problem with my arms and the other day and this is the story I'm talking about the other day my I was looking at family pictures and my grandmother my mom's mom who I love dearly only had an arm halfway down. You see me pointing. Uh, she wasn't born with a hand. So her arm stopped there. And there's just a little nub. And I loved her with all my heart. And then I think of the way I feel about my arms. And I think she would have given anything. So, And with this body positive and feeling okay about ourselves... I, I've had it now. I'm going to wear short sleeves. And if I want sleeveless, enough's enough. I'm going to be 61 years old. And the young girls are teaching me feel good about ourselves. I love this top and I got this top. I think it's going to be great and beautiful for spring. Okay, here's a floral baby doll top. They didn't have it in my size. They only had a four. And it doesn't, it, I mean, it looks okay in the picture, but at the shoulders and around, it was just not shapely. It just was not cut right for me. I, I think it was a little too big. Not a lot too big. A little too big. And uh, it just did not, the color didn't look, you know how when you put something on, you want to look for that pop. But like I was saying earlier, I think being curvy before the clothing started to open up, if something fit, we bought it. Right, girls? I mean, Honestly, we didn't have any choice. So often I have to reevaluate and know that I don't have to buy everything that fits me just because it fits in every color because I'm going to have more choice than I did. And here's another clearance item to make my three clearance items. Buy one, get two free. And, my, and Mr. Rundle and I got into the funniest conversation over this. I think because it was plaid, he might have thought that it looked like a man shirt, even though it was baby doll. So I kept asking him what he thought, and he was holding back. And then he said, and I said, why aren't you answering? And he said, because there's no right answer. And I said, I don't think that's fair, Mr. Rundle, because when I... I ask you I want the truth I don't want a phony answer that everything looks right I want you to tell me how you feel so we had a little conversation about that that we were really hoping would have made it to the video but it did not but I'm telling you about it so this is the, going to be the end of the toured part of the video and then it's going to switch back believe it or not back to the hot Macy's video so it's a little crazy but I hope you understand and bear with me by the way I bought the gift at Torrid. We are having our 400 drawing. I hope you like it. I'm so excited about it. Even Mr. Rundle loves the gift that we got. So I'm going to be holding the drawing probably.
probably tomorrow. So here is the Macy's part of the video because as you can see, I'm wrapping this up and I'm I'm so excited to do that drawing for the 400 subscribers. And I think what I'm talking about here is that, oh, I know what I'm, I'm talking about crying because I lost that other kimono and talking about how if you want a kimono, you have to get it when you do. I know that's what I was talking about with crying, but the drawing is coming. The gift has been purchased and I love it. And I can't wait to share it with everyone and do the drawing. So I'm talking here about the jeggings and the thinking about what I was going to get as three clearance items. Those jeans were also clearance item, beige jeans, but I ended up going with the black cardigan, the green plaid, and the other, I think it was a, a scarf. Yes, I did. So I'm wrapping it up and we're going to be flashing back to Macy's where there's going to be sound. I love you guys. Let's hit that 500 subscribers because I think I said here and I want to tell you that when we hit 500, we're going to have a huge prize. But I will also, because I'm a pianist, I will play and record a Bach piece for you on the piano to share with all my subscribers. So that's what we'll do for the 500. So I'm saying subscribe and like my channel. Bye-bye. Back to Macy's. I'm back, and I'd like you to, sit, to know that I certainly know I'm not in touring. There's no fan, and it's like 150 degrees in here. But this is a Melissa McCarthy top. It was regularly like $70. I think it's gonna be close to $10 today. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I still have it on with the Melissa McCarthy boot cut jeans. So this top is a definite. I really, really like it. And this is a size 22. I sized down on this or a 2X because they did not have the 3X and it looked nice and large. And by golly, it was. This is a thumbs up for Melissa McCarthy. This is a lucky top I picked up, and I'm pretty lucky it's not the only shirt here because I don't look very good in it. It's a little too short for me. It's a little too smocky, no shape, and I thought it would, the pattern would look nicer on me than it does. So I haven't had much luck with lucky. Let me know if you've had luck with lucky. This is a styling coat top I have on. And it's nice, it has embroidery here at the top, it's a cotton knit, but it's a little too short for me. It doesn't come to what I call my safety zone. It's an all right shirt. I think it'd probably really look cute on somebody else. And especially with lighter pants, I think like white pants in the summer, but it's just not me. But Style & Co has nice stuff. I would definitely check that out. And their prices are very reasonable at Macy's. Here's another Style & Co top. I do like it, I don't love it. Mr. Rundle says he's not crazy about it, it's just so-so. I mean, I love the Melissa McCarthy blouse. I just absolutely love that. And these jeans, the more I have them on, the more I like them. This top, it I thought it was more of a knit. It's really a rayon, like a chambray rayon. And it goes longer in the front, which I like, which gives me my safety zone. And the sleeves are a little snug, not real snug. So I think it's okay. I'll check and see how much it's on sale. You know how that can tip us over, but I'm gonna to have to look again to see, do I love it? Because I really don't wanna buy something I don't really love. Hold on, there's just a couple left. Hi everybody, well, I tried everything on. It's 150 degrees in here and I'm really, really warm. Mr. Rundle had to go to the men's room. So I have to do the wrap up myself. So here is my wrap up. I am getting the Melissa McCarthy boot cut jeans at the clearance rack. I am getting the blue stripe style and co shirt and the beautiful Melissa McCarthy blouse. So overall, I would say I'll stick with the Lehigh Valley Mall, I think, and the website has beautiful things. You just always have to wonder if it's going to work out. But I love you guys, and we're heading toward lunch and then to Torrid. See you soon. Bye.